Hey, hey, Facebook. Happy Tuesday to you. Hopefully you had a wonderful Monday. Ours was so exciting because I got the new machine and I just, I'm like a little kid after Christmas just playing with his toy and trying to get everything together. Got the chemicals on their way. They should be here sometime this week. So excited to get that machine out and running. With it. It's just going to be such a benefit to our customers and, and it's going to be just fun to use. Um, so, question is, how do we know what machine to use? And I'm going to explain that and go into that a little bit here shortly. First of all, if you're watching live, type live. If you're watching on replay, type replay. If you're watching on YouTube, keep on watching us. Subscribe. Like it. Give us a bunch of thumbs ups and hearts. It helps us out. We like to, we like to know what, what everybody's wanting. So what does that mean? What machine and how do we know what machine to use? Okay, so I'm talking sewers and drain cleaning. How do we know what machine to use on what? It's a great question. You know, it's funny. Last week we were doing a bunch of videos for training. I had Friendly Giant Films up here filming us. And one of the questions was from him was, how do you know what machine to use on what? What's the application for this? And that's a great one. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, do a live on that because if Nick's asking it, then probably all my other customers are asking it too. So when we first go into a home and the, the calls for a sewer call, the very first thing we're doing is we're looking at access points, looking to see where we can access the drain. Now, if the drain is accessible from outside, we've got two machines that were or possibly three machines that we're going to probably be thinking about. The very first one we're going to be thinking about is the sewer machine, the, the regular uh, cable, cable machine like this one right here. Let me flip it around. Like this one right here it has the, the, the machine itself and then we put that cable down the drain. The next one we might be thinking about is our newest machine, the GI Flex Shaft. The cool thing about this machine is that it will do roots, it will do cleaning in the walls, it'll scrape the walls, it'll clean it all up. But the really cool thing is, is it's got this PVC coating on the outside to where we can run our, our sewer camera in there at the same time and be able to see exactly what we're doing. Or the last option we'd use, and, and a very effective option, is not a power washer. It is a power washer, but we use it as our jetter. And the cool thing about this jetter, let me uh, grab my glove here, I don't want to touch it without having gloves on. I want to show you the, the application on this head. So this head looks like that, right? And you have one hole in the center on the front, and then you have several that shoot backwards. And what that does is that gives you a clear show of, of how to, to clean it up, okay? So basically, this, this works for ice, this works for grease, this works for roots. Um, some of the bigger ca uh, jet cables have like chains that spin and can knock off roots from the pipe. But uh, like I said, that, that would be an option if, if the clean-out is outside. Now, if the clean-out's inside, we're going to rethink our options. We're not going to suggest the jetter right away. The reason is, with the jetter, if there's a solid clog, it's going to come backwards before it goes down. And we don't want to make a mess in somebody's home. We don't want to make a mess in somebody's business. So if it's an out, outside, we, we don't think twice about using the jetter. Now, I am in the process... And it'll probably be a next year's purchase, but I'm in the process of getting a trailer jetter that also has a vacuum suction on it. So basically, we could jet and vacuum at the same time, and we wouldn't create a mess. But for right now, if it's outside, we'll jet it. If it's inside, we don't jet. The next one right here is, is the flex shaft. Now, this one we can use inside. Um, the, obviously, this is a bigger cable. We have a smaller cable as well for smaller drains. But this one we prefer to, to use because we can use the camera while we're doing it. If not... We're left with our snake. Now, we have different size cables. This is our largest cable, um, and it, it's based on what's clogged. If it's a kitchen sink that's clogged, we're going to use our smaller machine. If it's a uh, laundry line, we might, might, might use our, our medium-sized machine, our half-inch cable. We call it our medium snake. And if it's a large line, we're going to use this snake right here. And this is good on roots, solid clogs, but the problem with this is we can't run our camera at the same time those cables will catch onto that camera and actually wrap that cable wiring from the camera up inside it. So that is why we have the, the flex shaft so we can use the camera, we can see what we're doing, it does a little bit better job. This one's gonna cost more than this one just because of the application of, of being able to use it with a camera. Whereas this one, it's we run the snake, pull it out, run the camera. 
and that would be the option. Whereas this one, we can run the, the flash shaft and the camera at the same time. It creates less work for us, but it also gives us a better image to where we can see what's going on. The thing I really like about this flex shaft compared to other flex shafts is right down there, I can hook up a water hose or an air hose and blow it out to the street without ever having to add a garden hose to wash it down. So what would be the application for anything else? Now, I have here a toilet auger. So if it's just a toilet that's plugged up, we can run this toilet auger down through the toilet and try to get the clog that way. So when we go in, the very first thing we're doing is we're looking to see if there's a clean out outside. Then we're going inside the house. We're looking to see if there's clean outs inside the house. We're looking underneath the sink, see if there's a clean out or if we have to pull the pee trap off. Those are things that we're doing. It's all based on steps. And so as professionals, what we're trying to do is we're trying to see where are we going to access this drain? Am I going to have to pull a toilet? And then based on those assumptions, what we find on that is what machine we, we use. Obviously, the jetter with grease and ice is going to be way better than, than a sewer machine. You're never going to get through it with a sewer machine. Last weekend or last week, we actually had a sewer that was froze up. So we had to use the jetter. So there are applications that that jetter is the only option. If we're doing a restaurant, we need a jetter because there's a good chance that it's grease in the line. I mean, you're going to have grease on the floors. It's going in the kitchen. Anywhere in the kitchen on a, on a restaurant, um, we're going to be using our jetter because we're guaranteed that it's going to be clogged with grease. And that will give us the most thorough clean. Now, these other machines will clean grease. They won't clean it effectively. Um, what I mean by that is they won't be able to clean all of the stuff off the sidewall. You punch a hole through it, and then you bring your snake back, and all that grease falls off the top. But with a jetter, it actually flushes it out. It's cutting off all that sidewall as you're going down, and it's washing it out on the machine. That's why that flex shaft is so cool is because we can use it, and then we can clean all that out and have that water running the whole time and be flushing it down to the main and not have to have a hose inside with it. So those are the options we have for snaking. Obviously, if you have a problem with your drains, you feel like they're froze, or you're having some type of clog up, give us a call. We can come out, we can give you a help, we can give you expertise, we'll give you the options that you need. We might give all three of these as an option, just depending on what your circumstance is. But we'll, we'll let you choose what's best for your budget, what you want to do, and we'll go from there. You have a wonderful Tuesday. We'll catch you on tomorrow.